Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Michael Freighter. I'm the Rector of uh, UNSW Canberra. And I'd like to welcome you this afternoon to this announcement of the placement of the papers of uh, the former Prime Minister John Howard in uh, our library. A great step in, uh, in the history of, of this, this institution. We are always interested in, and it's an important part of the education program, uh, that there's an understanding of history and a special emphasis on military history. And during your Prime Ministership, there were an enormous number of important events that occurred and to be able to provide to future students and future scholars an authentic record of, uh, of this period that is not, has not been really widely available or available at all is a terrific thing and it's a great step and something that we want to build on in this library. You notice the first thing that we did when we came here is we pulled out our mobile phones and people often say to me, what's the future of libraries and uh, are people going to come here to read the books? And the answer is we will the, the future of libraries is very sound because the future of knowledge uh, is very sound. We will make materials available in ways we couldn't imagine because of the ability to digitise them and to search them. And so the bringing of collections into a library with that capacity uh, is an enormously important step to protect and preserve the material and, as I said, to make it widely available. So, you know, on behalf of the university, we really, uh, John, thank you for that great gesture. Uh, the National Archives is very pleased to be partnering with UNSW Australia to implement what for us is a new uh, and exciting collaborative model, uh, a model for distributing the custody of the National Archival Records. And through this, we're going to enhance the ability to research, we're going to enhance that discovery experience, and of course, most importantly, the use of the records by researchers and the broader Australian community. The John Howard Collection covers his entire political career dating back to 1974 and, and those records uh, that have entered the open access period in that time will be initially available here at UNSW from May this year. Then what we'll do from the archives across to here, we'll progressively release more records as they enter the open access period over the coming years uh, with Mr Howard's Prime Ministerial Papers to become available from 2019 and the complete set of papers available by 2028. Now if you think about those time frames that I've just um, described there, uh, it really does underscore the long-term commitment that we're making to this partnership. Uh, when approached by the university through Adford to, with the proposition that my papers be deposited here, I was attracted to it for two reasons. One reason is that it does make sense to maintain the papers of a Prime Minister in Canberra. And the second reason that I was attracted to it was the ADVA connection. I was privileged to meet uh, a lot of wonderful people in the service of the Commonwealth when I was Prime Minister. And as a group of men and women, uh, those of the Australian Defence Force had a lasting impression on me. Uh, they were really quite magnificent people. And the idea of having an association with ADFA lifted the idea a, a notch as a consequence in uh, my own calculations. What has gone before us ought to make us um, uh, execute uh, better decisions in the present and uh, advise people for the future in a, in a better way. So uh, I'm uh, quite interested in archives and uh, uh, I hope that in the years to come, uh, no matter what perspective they're writing from, uh, people will come here and research these papers and I hope that will assist them uh, in examining the history of the period that I had the privilege of representing uh, people in the National Parliament between 1974 and 2007. It was a long period, uh, it was a very eventful period and I hope that these uh, papers uh, will contribute uh, along with those of many other people who played a major part in an understanding of that era, so I am very comfortable, very happy with this arrangement, uh, and uh, I know that the archives and the university are equally so, and I particularly thank uh, Fred Hilmer and the University of New South Wales for its uh, offer and for its patronage of this project. Thank you.